Welcome TDC viewers, in this video I will be synthesizing methamphetamine hydrochloride by the reductive amination method. Methamphetamine is a strong central nervous system stimulant. It is neurotoxic and addictive. In low doses, methamphetamine can cause an elevated mood, increase alertness, concentration and energy. At higher doses, it can induce psychosis, rhabdomyolysis, and cerebral hemorrhage. Globally, methamphetamine is one of the most frequently abused drugs worldwide. To start the synthesis, we need 2.9 grams of aluminium foil cut into 2 cm squares. The aluminium foil I used was brought from the local grocery store. Twenty mil of methanol, four point four grams of sodium hydroxide, zero point zero six seven grams of mercury chloride, seven point two grams of methylamine hydrochloride I made from the previous video. Sea light. 1 phenyl 2 propanone, which we need a volume of 5.4 ml. Concentrated sulfuric acid. Some more methanol. 50 ml of toluene. Some more toluene. Anhydrous calcium chloride crystals. An excess of 300 ml of millicue water. Anhydrous magnesium sulfate crystals. A stopwatch. A heating mantle. A 250 ml two neck round bottom flask that is connected to a Liebig. Reflux condenser fitted with a drying tube that contains cotton wool and a store brought pond pump that is immersed into cold water that is fitted onto the reflux condenser. Okay, get the 20ml of methanol and pour it into the round bottle flask. After that, get the 4.4 grams of sodium hydroxide and add it into the flask containing the methanol. Once the chemicals are all added, stir it very thoroughly. Note, dissolving the sodium hydroxide in methanol will take some time, so be patient and keep stirring. As it is quite hard to dissolve the sodium hydroxide in methanol, remove the reflux condenser from the round bottom flask and stir the flask's contents rapidly while holding it in your hand. In this way, a more vigorous form of stirring can be conducted. As we can see from the murky white colour, all of the sodium hydroxide is dissolved in methanol. Get the two neck round bottom flask containing the dissolved sodium hydroxide in methanol and immerse it into a ice water bath. To this add 7.2 grams of methylamine hydrochloride and swirl. Next, measure out 5.4 ml of 1-phenyl 2-propanone and add it into the flask. Note, with the use of a thermometer, the mixture must be cooled below negative 10 degrees Celsius using an efficient ice water bath. Do not take the flask out of the ice bath. For the next part, measure out 100 ml of millicue water and add it into a suitable beaker. To this, add 0.067 grams of mercury chloride and make sure all of it is dissolved.
After that, get the 2.9 grams of aluminium foil we cut in 2x2 two two centimeter squares and add it into the solution of mercuric chloride we made. The amalgamation was allowed to proceed for 15 minutes. After 14 minutes, we can clearly see the surface of the aluminium has been modified to form an aluminium amalgam by the mercuric chloride solution. We now have our reducing agent. Creating an aluminium amalgam is crucial because we want to reduce the ketone, which in this case is 1-phenyl-2-propanone, to an amine, which in this case to methamphetamine. After the amalgamation is complete, filter off the activated aluminium from the solution. Rinse the activated aluminium with over 300 ml of milk water. Get the two neck round bottom flask containing the 1-phenyl-2-propanone solution and immerse it into an ice water bath. Add the activated aluminium into the flask making sure the temperature doesn't rise above 0 degrees Celsius. After the addition process, attach the two neck round bottom flasks to the reflux condenser. Attach the drying tube filled in with current wool and attach the water pump to the reflux condenser. Now we are ready for the heating process. Heat the reaction mixture to around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. As we can see on the thermometer, it reads 60 degrees Celsius. Around 20 minutes, the mixture becomes a very dark grey colour, along with the activated aluminium foil dissolving. As the mixture is reacting, let's have a look at the chemistry. First of all, let's define what reductive amination is. Amines can be synthesized in a single step by treatment of an aldehyde or ketone with ammonia or an amine in the presence of a reducing agent. Note, many different reducing agents are effective, like sodium cyanoborohydride. For example, in our case, methamphetamine is prepared by reductive amination of 1-phenyl-2-propanone with methylamine using activated aluminium catalyst as the reducing agent. Ammonia, primary amines, and secondary amines can all be used in the reductive amination reaction, yielding primary, secondary, and tertiary amines, respectively. Okay, nearing the completion of the reaction, the coloration of the mixture has deepened to a very dark grey colour, and all of the activated aluminium has been dissolved. After 90 minutes, the reaction is complete. Remove the reflux condenser and as we can see, the mixture seems to be quite viscous. Add a small amount of sea light into the mixture. Note, sea light has a high porosity and is added to the mixture because it is used to filter very fine particles that would otherwise pass through or clog filter paper. Now filter the mixture. Add some methanol into the resultant mixture, rinse and filter. 
As we can see, the methamphetamine oil has a pale yellow color. Transfer the methamphetamine oil into a glass container and add anhydrous magnesium sulfate into it. The role of the magnesium sulfate is to dry the oil away from any water contamination. After the addition of the anhydrous magnesium sulfate crystals, filter the methamphetamine oil. We now have dry methamphetamine oil. Okay, now for the next part, we need to convert the methamphetamine oil to the hydrochloride salt. Get the dry methamphetamine oil and pour it into a suitable flask. Conversion of the methamphetamine oil to the hydrochloride salt was achieved by dissolving the oil in toluene and bubbling through anhydrous hydrogen chloride gas until the formation of a white precipitate. Therefore, add 50 ml of toluene to the methamphetamine oil and swirl. The mixture will become cloudy. Set up a suitable apparatus for the generation of anhydrous hydrochloric acid gas. In my setup, I used a 500 ml 3 neck round bottom flask filled in with an excess of sodium chloride crystals, a separating funnel filled in with an excess of 98% sulfuric acid, a drying tube filled in with anhydrous calcium chloride crystals that is connected to a pipe leading down to the flask containing the methamphetamine oil dissolved in toluene. Slowly drip the concentrated sulfuric acid into the sodium chloride crystals. Immediately, anhydrous hydrochloric acid gas forms and bubbles into the methamphetamine oil dissolved in toluene. As we can see, a dense white smoke forms over the mixture. Needless to say, perform this procedure outside or in a fume hood. As the bubbling of the anhydrous hydrochloric acid gas proceeds, there is a color change of the mixture. After 15 minutes of bubbling, the pale yellow color of the mixture turns into a pale pink color. Also, there is a white precipitate on the bottom of the flask. This is indicative of the conversion of the methamphetamine oil being fully converted into the hydrochloride salt. Furthermore, there is two layers that is formed in the mixture. In a close-up, we can see the precipitated white methamphetamine hydrochlorized salt.
After the addition of the anhydrous hydrochloric acid gas, remove the flask. In another close-up, we can see the precipitated white methamphetamine hydrochloride salt. Filter the precipitated methamphetamine hydrochloride crystals and wash it with some toluene. Also, rinse out the flask with toluene and filter. As we can see, pure white crystals of methamphetamine hydrochloride can be seen. The yield is around 1 gram. Note, the yield is a bit deficient as this could be due to me playing around with the camera during the synthesis. The theoretical yield of methamphetamine is 4.09 grams, 69%. Dry the methamphetamine hydrochloride salt under high vacuum and add the salt into a glass vial. The purity of the salt is easily over 95%. There we have it TDC viewers, we have successfully synthesized methamphetamine hydrochloride by the reductive amination method. Okay TDC viewers, you must pay attention now.